Um, let me, uh, let me uh, read this passage and then we'll, we'll close. After I'm done reading this, Kyle, if you and your team will make your way up. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 6 through 8. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them if prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Pastor Aaron, for the last four plus weeks, has been preaching the gospel and talking about the call. Today, um, here's our challenge. Think about the videos that you got to see during those four weeks. We saw videos of, of course, Kyle and Lee Green and Dave Negron and Deb Foos, each one incredibly powerful, each one incredibly gripping, but also each one clearly showing God's radical transforming power and grace on their lives to go from here to here, and then the service and following in kingdom responsibility. What does that mean? getting involved in the local church body and using the gifts, skills, talents, abilities that God has given each of them. A couple of weeks ago, we met with Dan and Krista, my wife and I did, and we got to know them personally. And in just a few short hour, couple hours, man, we learned a lot about what God has done just recent. I mean, it's not like 20 years old stuff. This is in the last couple of years, major life-changing stuff where I would have thought Dan was always just a teddy bear. And he wasn't always just a teddy bear. But God has done an amazing work of grace on his life and on their marriage and has restored and put them back together and made it a beautiful, beautiful example of what God does. But then to take it a step further and go, how can I use what God has gifted me in? Like, you know, his statement would be, Dave, I, I love fixing toilets. You love you, you love fixing, oh man, yeah, that's not me, but that's Dan. Dan relates well to maintenance and maintenance supervision, and you know how blessed we are to have someone like that go when the women's ministry was here, and they didn't have a sink working properly in the kitchen, and Dan happened to have those parts in his truck? Okay, well, that's great. I don't have those parts in my truck. I don't even have a truck, so it's really, really important for us to see this morning that God has gifted each of us differently. If you are attending Life Connection and you have some sort of gift, skill, talent, or ability, and you haven't used it for one of several reasons. One, you're afraid to commit because this church will suck you dry and make you work every week, okay? That happens in churches. Two, you think the church is really unorganized and chaotic and your gifting isn't an organization and, and chaos, and so you don't want to volunteer, I'm here to tell you things are changing. Things are happening differently. We're developing policies and procedures and job descriptions and things that will help keep us organized and skilled and efficient to what? Preach the gospel and minister to the hurting and the lost. Okay.